ever looked up at the moon and wondered, what's that big glowing rock doing up there? And more importantly, how did it even get there? Spoiler alert, it wasn't aliens, but what happened instead is almost as wild. Let's dive into one of the coolest origin stories in our solar system, the giant impact hypothesis. This theory explains how Earth got its trusty cosmic companion, the moon. And let me tell you, this isn't just some boring science lecture, it's basically a galactic soap opera involving planets, collisions, and fiery debris. Setting the stage. What we know about the early solar system. So rewind about 4.5 billion years ago. The solar system was still under construction. Think of it like a giant interstellar mess. Planets were forming from chunks of dust and gas swirling around the sun. Everything was chaotic, messy, and frankly kind of dangerous. At this point, Earth was just a baby planet, a molten ball of rock not much bigger than Mars. But don't feel bad for young Earth. It had plenty of company. There were other proto-planets zipping around, bumping into each other like rowdy kids in a mosh pit. Enter Thea, the rogue planet that changed everything. Now here's where things get interesting. Scientists think there was another planet hanging out nearby called Thea. Yes, they gave it a name. It sounds fancy, right? Picture Thea as Earth's long-lost cousin who decided to crash the party. Literally. Thea was roughly the size of Mars, which makes it pretty significant. Imagine two cars colliding head-on at highway speeds. That's basically what happened when Thea slammed into Earth. Boom. Catastrophic collision. Game-changing explosion. Call it whatever you want, but it was epic. The collision. Chaos in space. When Thea hit Earth, all hell broke loose. The impact was so powerful that it vaporized both planets' outer layers. Molten rock, metal, and gas were flung out into space like confetti at a New Year's Eve party. Some of the material stayed in orbit around Earth while the rest either fell back down or drifted off into deep space. But wait, why didn't Earth just disintegrate completely? Well, gravity came to the rescue. Even though the collision was massive, Earth's core managed to hold itself together. Meanwhile, the debris floating around in orbit started sticking together, thanks to good old gravitational attraction birth of the moon, from debris to satellite. You see, this is how the moon was born. Over time, the bits of debris in orbit slowly clumped together, forming a single, massive object. Voila, a brand new satellite for Earth. At first, the moon was super close to us, about 10 times closer than it is today. Can you imagine seeing a moon 10 times bigger in the sky? Talk about Instagram-worthy sunsets. But why does this story make sense? Why do scientists believe the giant impact hypothesis over other ideas? Great question. Let's break it down. First, we have Apollo missions. Remember those astronauts bouncing around on the moon in their bulky suits? They brought back rocks and guess what? Those rocks are chemically similar to Earth's mantle. In fact, they're almost identical twins. This similarity suggests that the moon formed from material ejected during the collision. If the moon had been captured by Earth's gravity later, it would probably look very different more alien, less familiar. Second, computer models support the idea of a giant impact. When scientists simulate these ancient collisions, they consistently find results that match what we see today. A moon made mostly of Earth-like material, plus a few extras thrown in by Thea. Finally, there's the moon's orbit. It's tilted relative to Earth's equator, which fits perfectly with the idea of a colossal sideways impact. If the moon had formed quietly alongside Earth, its orbit would likely be aligned differently common questions about the giant impact hypothesis. Now, we know what you're thinking. What about the water on Earth? Did the impact destroy it? Great question. Turns out Earth probably regained its water later through comets and asteroids delivering fresh supplies. So no, the collision didn't leave us high and dry forever. Another common question. Could something like this happen again? Thankfully, no. The solar system has settled down since those wild early days. Most of the rogue objects have either collided with planets or been kicked out of the neighborhood entirely. One last thing. What happened to poor Thea? Well, she sacrificed herself to give us the moon. Her remains are now part of Earth and the moon. Kind of poetic, isn't it? Why exactly does this matter? You might be wondering, why should I care about a 4.5 billion year old crash? Here's why. Understanding the moon's origins helps us understand Earth's history too. For example, the moon stabilizes Earth's tilt, giving us predictable seasons. Without it, life as we know it might never have evolved. Plus, studying events like the giant impact teaches us about how planets form and evolve, not just in our solar system, but across the universe. Every discovery brings us closer to answering humanity's biggest question. 
Are we alone? Alone? So the next time you glance up at the moon, remember, it's not just a random chunk of rock. It's a piece of cosmic history, forged in fire and chaos billions of years ago. Thanks to Theo, we've got a beautiful natural satellite lighting up our skies every night. And hey, if nothing else, now you've got an awesome fun fact to impress your friends at parties. Just say, did you know the moon used to be part of Earth? Trust us, they'll be impressed. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing science stories. Until next time, keep looking up.